right, what is up guys? Welcome in. You know what today is? It is Tuesday, so that means Trainer Talk Tuesday. And just like every Tuesday, we got some great information for you guys. So let's jump right in and let you hear what we got. Yep, guys, absolutely. Um, today we are talking about three reasons why your at-home workouts suck, why they aren't working, and you need to make some changes. Obviously, right? And we know how it can get. Things can be very redundant. It can just get, you know, very boring over time. And, you know, trying to, you know, find some other things to kind of keep yourself motivated and, it's, and just feeling inspired throughout can be difficult. So yep. let's go ahead and talk about a couple things that you guys can possibly do. Yep, guys. And before we even get into that, like, it's been seven months now since the pandemic happened. And I know that that came and it really just, like, turned our lives upside down. Everybody in the whole world has been impacted in one way or another. And I know that the stress of the pandemic is still there, guys. We feel it. I know you guys are feeling it at home where, you know, working from home just isn't what you thought it would be. You're not able to see your friends as frequently or at all. Um, you know, homeschooling wasn't a part of your plan and here you are, you're doing it. And I know that you guys are stressed out and there's a lot of things outside of your control, but you do know, and I know you guys know this, that staying active is going to help keep you sane during this time. And it is one of the very few things right now in a lot of our lives that we can control. So you can control your workouts, you can control your intentional activity level. And so it's important that we get it in first off, but then also that you get the results that you want to for the amount of work that you're putting in. And so that's where this really comes into play here. It really comes down to what we call the three C's. And if you're struggling right now, like if you are on the struggle bus with your at-home workouts, then you need to listen up because it means that you are either lacking one or all of these things. Yeah. And so pay attention, guys. The first one is consistency. Right? Obviously, right? Consistency. And that's something that you hear whenever you want to be successful at anything, right? You want to be successful in a job place, your career. You want to be successful in your relationship. You want to be successful at anything. It's going to take uh, a certain amount of consistency. So there's going to be nothing different about that when it comes to working out and trying to get your body in shape and just get a better a better overall level of health. So you're gonna need to be consistent in that, right? Yep, guys. And we highly suggest that you are consistent, which means um, whether it's at home or even if you are able to make it in gym, that you are um, working out more times than not throughout the week. And you do that for a, a, at least a period of three months. Three months before you decide that, hey, it didn't work for me or what I'm doing right now needs to change because I'm not getting the results that I want. You need three months of consistency before you visibly can start uh, seeing noticeable changes. Yeah, and, and the last thing I will add to that first one here to be in the first C is that um, it's funny, like every week we do these Trainer Talk Tuesdays and there are conversations I'm having with my clients throughout the weeks and just a lot of things that we talk about come to mind because they're everyday people, right? Just like you and they're going through the same things, the same experiences. And a lot of this is new for them. So I was talking to them about that thing about being consistent. Like I got two clients in particular, they're looking to add another day, which makes me feel good because now I get to work with them more and I get to help them achieve their goals even you know, faster now. I get to have more time spent with them. And I was letting them know exactly that, the time spent. Like I'm only getting to see you guys 30 minutes out of every seven days. So with that being said, you guys are gonna have to be very, very accountable to yourselves and consistent to be sure that you guys are doing more so than you're not. I know what you're doing when you're here with me and I try to push you as much as I can because I know I'm only gonna get to see you once. But when you're away from me and when you're on your own, you guys need to be consistent. So when Larissa talk about for about three months of consistency, you need to be doing more so than you're not. And that's not necessarily pushing your body into a, a, a like tremendous amount of overload, but it means like at least 
three to four or five days out the week, you're working out, and let's say Saturday and Sunday, just use a regular uh, work week for people. Monday through Friday, you should be trying to do something, maybe two or three hard workouts, two or three light workouts based on how you're doing, but you're consistently working and you're increasing the intensity day to day. So that way your body isn't overwhelmed with the process. And then you're resting on the weekends, which you're getting more done than you're not. So you're remaining consistent. Yep, guys, and as we mentioned earlier, we know that you are under a, 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 tr a tremendous amount of stress right now. And so consistency during this time, you might hear us say that and you're like, yeah, sure, for you. But anybody can do this. No matter what your schedule looks like during this pandemic or if you have something else going on in your life, you can really pencil yourself in and actually physically write and make an appointment with yourself for your workouts at home. That way you don't overlap it. That way it's a priority. It's something that's set in ink, right? And so you're more inclined to get it done that way. And as you guys know, it may sound cliche, but putting yourself first in these different areas of your life really does make you better in all different facets. So it's that whole analogy that they use, like if you're on an airplane and you know, the airplane's going down and the oxygen masks come down that they they tell you that you should put on your oxygen mask first. That means you put it on before you put on your kids or before you help your, you know, your elderly parents, you put on yours first. And the reason that they suggest that is because you cannot save or help anybody else if you are passed out on the plane. <laughs> Okay? Great point. So guys, this is the same thing that applies here. You cannot keep going at the pace that you are going right now during this pandemic where you're just taking on the load of the whole world and expect for you not to pass out at some point. Okay. You need to give yourself your oxygen mask first. And for you, that means, you know, maybe some time away, a break from the kids. Um, whatever that looks like for you, but pencil in those at-home workouts. Because as, as we mentioned before, working out is a stress reliever. And it's going to release these happy hormones that are really gonna be beneficial to whatever you're going through and to kind of help take that load off of you so you're feeling better and you're able to do more down the line. Yeah, I couldn't say it better uh, myself. So a lot there consistency is very important that's c number one so let's go ahead and jump to c number two because again these things are very important and if you're not missing one of these then you're probably missing all of these for the most part because this thing can be very very you know challenging for a lot of people very tough it's very you know it's a new experience so number two would be change guys number two is change and what do we mean by this we mean variety Keeping Absolutely. it constantly, basically, guys, you're switching it up. You're not, you're not allowing your body to get too familiar with the routine. So that way, your body continues to see change, and it's forced to have to make the change because you're ma you're making your body remain uncomfortable throughout the process. And again, like we said, it's not that we're trying to like put you in a place where you you regret wanting to do it or you hate the experience of it, but it should be you know, a little bit, uh, it should be a little uncomfortable for you, meaning that yes. this is something that you're not familiar with. You know that it is taxing on the body. It's a little bit of a challenge more so than normal. And you, you really got to exert yourself. You really have to focus. That's what we want because like we mentioned in the last one, uh, there's a, a hormonal reaction that takes place in the body, a chemical reaction that allows your body to start releasing hormones that causes your metabolism to boost so that now you're uh, burning more calories, you're, you're burning a lot of fat, your body is building muscle by breaking down muscle, so on and so on. So you're causing a lot of these different reactions in the body when you cause that state of uncomfortableness. All right, so continue to make yourself uncomfortable by changing it up, allowing yourself to continue to learn new ways and um, new ways of training and just always keep the body gassing so it's never too accustomed and adapted to the change you're trying to make. Always um, just try to change. Yep, guys, and if you have ever worked out before, you know that with working out comes a certain level of pain. And that's just, that's just true guys it's the way it is now we're not advocating that you take yourself to a level of pain where you are throwing up actually we don't want you to take your body to that point 
But as they mentioned, working out can be uncomfortable. It's going to burn at certain points. It's going to feel like you can't do another rep. But those are the moments that really matter the most. When you push through and you uh, defy all the obstacles that you put in your head and you do it anyway. And we don't want your workouts to become redundant, guys. I know that all of you guys, and you probably have been guilty of this yourself, whether at home or in the gym, where you, you know, see a family member or you see a stranger at the gym that's a regular member, and you see them at the same time at the gym every single day, and they do the exact same routine. And I bet you also notice that that person, year to year to year, looks the exact same. This is because their program design has no change to it. It's become very redundant. Their body has adjusted to it. That level of pain that we're talking about, the little bit of uncomfortable feeling that you get from working out is no longer there. It's too easy, it's very predictable, and the body doesn't have to work hard to accomplish the task at hand. Your body is incredibly smart, guys, so it's going to recruit the least amount of muscles possible to perform a certain movement. So if you practice a certain movement over and over and over again, your body gets better at it. This is why uh, people who play uh, sports competitively can get to a certain level and compete at a high professional elite level is because they can practice and their body learns these certain moves and their body is able to do those moves more efficiently and effectively without recruiting as many muscles as say someone like me right? If we have a professional basketball player, they're going to be able to move in a way that my body's not able to move because their body has learned to do these moves with the least amount of energy being exerted possible, okay? So that's good if we're talking about sports. It's not so good if we're just talking about the average person in the gym because now your body has nothing to adapt to. So when we tell you that you need to switch things up, that you need to provoke change, it means that you need to change things in your routine, like the weight that you're using, okay? As you lift more, you're going to get stronger naturally. That's probably a part of your goals. So you're going to have to lift heavier weights. You can't lift the same amount of weight that you did your first day in the gym that you do a year later, okay guys? And you wouldn't want to, right? You're getting stronger, so you should be able to lift heavier weights, which means you need to challenge your body and increase the load that you are doing. You can also change the number of reps. So the number of reps vary depending on your goals and you need to keep that in mind when um, you are forming a program design here. Sets also matter. So a lot of times people think, you know, reps and sets, like I'm gonna do 10 reps for three sets and that's just like the go-to numbers in the fitness world. And guys, that's not a magic number. <laughs> I'm just going to say like, Doing 10 reps of anything for three sets is not going to necessarily get you the goals that you're, you know, the results that you're trying to get to reach your goals. It's not like some crazy magic number in the fitness world that no matter what you're doing, if you do those amount of reps and sets that you're going to, you know, put on muscle or you're going to burn fat, like that's not how it works. Um, really, it comes down to challenging your body and um, other ways that you can do that is by increasing or decreasing the tempo, okay? This is very effective, guys. If you're used to working out at a standard pace, if you try to speed that pace up in which you are performing the movement or lifting the weight, um, that's going to be taxing, okay? You won't be able to do as heavy of weights if you're moving faster, so keep that in mind. Um, same thing applies if you slow it down, all right? We call these negatives in the fitness world. If you are able to slow down the movement in the eccentric motion, which is the downward motion, um, when you are going with gravity, okay? If you are able to control and slow down gravity, then you are going to get a greater impact because that is a way to switch up your routine. Um, another way to do it is by changing the equipment that you're using. So let's say that you use dumbbells all the time and you, you know, do dumbbell chest presses a lot. Well, by changing the equipment to a barbell and doing a bench press, that is enough to really switch up and confuse the body so you're still getting results. Although it is the exact same exercise, it's using a different piece of equipment. 
In that same analogy, you could lose the equipment altogether and perform a push-up, still hitting the same major muscle groups, but again, it's going to tax the body in a different way by recruiting different muscles because there's a change there. All right, so that's all that we mean, guys, that you need to switch some things up in order to keep the body guessing so you keep getting the results that you want. All right, and that was a lot of good information. I don't have anything else to add to it. I hope you guys took that all in, and if you didn't, just rewind it back and listen to it all again. That couldn't have been put any better. All of that is everything that you need to know, basically to continue to try to incorporate the proper change in your workouts, in your routine, so they don't get too boring and just too, too adaptive to the body. So just keep your body always under that pressure of, hey, this feels new, this is different, so that you're causing that bit of uncomfortable uncomfortableness amongst your, um, mm -hmm. your workouts. And the last C here is going to be challenge. Now, it's been very hard to talk about the first two C's without even mentioning the last C, which is challenge, and I slipped it in early, but they all kind of correlate together. So, and that's why we call them the three C's is because you can't be consistent without challenging yourself, right? Because when you're being consistent, that's a challenge to constantly be able to have the discipline to repeat that same act and routine every single day or for a multitude of days and try to be just consistent. Same thing with change, that's, that's challenge. A lot of people like us, we're introverts. We just went out and sat down and ate and my daughter was just making all this noise. Our daughter, you know, disclaimer here, our daughter yeah. is an extreme extrovert. Yep. Yeah. Um, so you can imagine having two parents who are more introverted, having a daughter who is very out there like me, look at me. And when she's two years old, that means that everybody looks at us. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, we were just, you know, out to eat and she's just making noise. And again, it's, it's a challenge, you know, she just constantly just causing attention, extra attention we don't want, whatever, whatever. But anyway, just to talk about the word and the, and, and the C itself the, and being challenged is that it's going to be something that is involved here as well. And when we mean challenge as far as the fitness thing goes, we're talking about not going to muscle failure, meaning you're not pushing your body enough. You're not allowing your body to get to that point where those repetitions are hard to push out. Like if you are doing your workouts and this kind of goes back to, I don't know if it was change or consistency. It was probably change, but where you just spoke about doing a basic three sets of 10 when you're not really challenging your body. So you can do that basic three sets of 10 and that something is going to be better than doing nothing at all. So you could do that, but like we said, you're not gonna force any change. You're not gonna force your body to have to respond to that workout in a way that's gonna help you progress, right? So when you're challenging yourself, that means you're pushing your body to actually feel that muscle fatigue. You're actually taking your body to a point of failure where your body is giving up it has no more to push out because those muscles has been pushed to a certain extent That's what and then we also like to call frying your central nervous system yep. and then also just refusing to get out of your own comfort zone so when you're not allowing yourself to do things that may make you feel uncomfortable then you're also going to hinder your progress and you're not allowing yourself to really be challenged to the extent you need to to see the changes that you're trying to see from starting this journey in general. So guys, the three C's, you got consistency, you have change, and you have challenge. And you need all three of them to work together so that you can get the best results possible. Yeah, guys, and if this sounds super overwhelming to you, if you're just like, you know what, I don't know if I can do all three of those. You know, maybe I can commit to one, but all three, it just, it might be too much with everything I have going on. I don't need something else to think about. Trust me, I get into those modes too where I'm like, just do it for me kind of a thing. And I wish that we could say that Nate and I figured out a way for us to do the workouts and you get the results because then we would be like billionaires. But we haven't figured that out yet, guys. So you still gotta do the work yourself, but we can help you. We actually created a system and a team specifically for this called Team never settle. And this um, group really um, takes the thinking away from all of this for you. So you just really have to do the work and we do the thinking for you guys. So um, the way that we help is by combating those three C's with our three S's. Yep. And the first one is a support group. 
Um, so Team Never Settle is a support group in itself. You are able to have access to other people, like-minded people who are going you know, through several, similar journeys as you guys are, who are reaching towards a common goal that you are reaching towards. And then you also have access to us, two of um, Indianapolis's top personal trainers in the industry, guys. Um, we have been in the business for a long, long time, and you have direct access to us for help, and we want you to utilize that. So you have a support group with other people and with us as professionals, and this is an effective system, guys. It works. If you do the work, it will work. So all you have to do is really show up and get it done, and we really, like I said, we take the thinking out of it for you by prov providing you with um, at home workouts that you could do, or if you prefer to be in the gym, you can also use these workouts in the gym um, to have access to, you know, weights to, to um, increase the difficulty if you are at a different fitness level. So that is available for you guys. Um, we do two live hit boot camps. So these are all body weight for now boot camps. Um, we provide modifications for you guys. So we really, like I said, we take the thinking out of it. Really, you just gotta show up and put in the work. Like I said, you just gotta pencil us in to your calendar and get the job done. Yep, absolutely. And, and like Larissa kind of touched on, might as well jump right into it, is to the second S, which is switching it up. So these are body weight workouts that we can help you with two a week, but we constantly switch it up. We constantly allow your body to kind of feel these things from a different experience. So when we talked earlier, or Larissa kind of just talked earlier about how a push-up, a dumbbell chest press, and a barbell chest press are all the same movements, but they're all vastly different because they're incorporating different muscles. And it's because also your body is engaging different muscles at the same time as well. Or I mean the equipment, but your body is engaging different muscles from that equipment. So those dumbbells are free weights. So that's your hands having to lift the same amount of weight regardless. Whereas when we use that dumbbell or the barbell, now your body is using something that is all the weight is combined on one different on one structure yeah, so that weight it's distribution spinally, is yeah, so different yeah, right? now that's something that we like to call spinally load is going to cause your body to have to use more of your overall core to position that weight and to control that weight because now that thing is all together and that's the benefit of using both so you get one where you can really really build up a lot of strength and really load up a lot of weight and then the other is kind of help you keep your body from developing imbalances because naturally working with that solid bar you're going to want to favor your strong side so that's a good uh, way to use it but we try to switch it up on you guys keep the body guessing again taking the thinking out of it for you so that way you're getting everything that you need you have a you have little to think about and all you have to do is exert yourself push your body and allow yourself to kind of you know exert some of that natural stress from building up and then just a real quick hop back to number one with the support group that's the thing Larissa said at the very very start of the video you know, working from home right now is getting very boring for some people. You guys miss that social hour because for a lot of the parents I know in general, or maybe the people that are single and at home or, you know, just couples with no kids right now, being able to go out and talk to different people sometimes and just be able to have a human interaction, that is a stress reliever as well. So we're kind of losing a lot of that, but we're trying to provide that with the group giving you a room full of people just like you, trying to have the same things that can communicate and help motivate one another. And we want you guys to do that. So yeah. we want to provide that support group that is going to allow you to have people to communicate with and also people that you're gonna bust your ass with and try to achieve your goals. Yep, guys. And although we strongly encourage that you take advantage of these live boot camp sessions, um, Nate and I are doing the workout with you guys. We also provide other at-home or in-gym workouts that you can have access to. And we're honestly, we're in the process of making this even better for you guys. So um, Team Never Settle was launched days after the pandemic happened when our physical location here in Indianapolis, Indiana was forced to shut down. Um, and we, we, had to, we had to make changes. We had to adapt to what was going on in the world, right? So we launched this and now seven months later, we wanna go back and say, okay, look guys, we know that 
the pandemic is still going on. Um, it seems like it's going to stay longer than any of us would have expected or hoped. So we wanna provide you more, more high quality content, more high quality value, um, more high quality videos and program designs that you can have access to by a click of a button. We are working so hard to increase the value that you're getting without changing the price. So keep that in mind, guys. We're trying to launch this by the beginning of next year. So join us now and see all the changes. Like be a part of that. Don't just watch us, join us because the best is yet to come. And that kind of gets us to number three, guys. The third S, which is we guarantee a sweat session. Oh yeah, you can bet. You're gonna your, sweat. Yeah, you can bet your butt on that one. And I am the master planner when it comes to a lot of these workouts. So everything that you're showing up, you get just know I'm thinking about it. Pretty much every if I'm not if I'm not already you know having someone in the gym, a client in the gym, and I'm already putting them through what I like to call one of my. Um, what is it, uh, one of my therapeutic sessions where I'm really pushing them, then I'm thinking about this group and how I'm gonna make this work out. Because again, a lot of you guys are all in different positions. I know some of you guys are elite athletes, some of you guys just work out multiple times a day, and some of you never do this at all, right? So this is new, so it gotta be a way that, how can everyone come into this group and get something good out of it all at once? So there's a lot of thought that goes into it and make these workouts not just, like I already said before, by just constantly switching it up and keeping the body guessing, but also challenging so you can feel like you're getting a really good workout. Even if you're working out with someone who may not even be on the same tier as you, but they can get the same, but you guys can get the same out of the same circuit. Yep, absolutely. The best so, out of the same circuit. whether, you know, we have a live boot camp tonight. So, if you guys want to join Team Never Settle, you can jump right in today and get on board. And you don't have to wait until tomorrow. Stop putting things off until tomorrow when you can do it. <laughs> today you can do it right now so message us um, and we will get you guys all set up for team never settle and you can join our boot camp class tonight at 6 30 p.m eastern standard time and we're gonna make you sweat guys whether you've never worked out a day in your life like if tonight is your first night to work out ever you're going to get a high quality great sweat session while staying safe, and that's important to add, but Nate and I, who have been working out for really most of our life at some type of competitive level, we're gonna get a challenging workout too. And that's what Nate is saying, is that like this can be really geared toward any fitness levels, which is why it's so important to get involved because it's it works for anybody. I don't care who you are, how out of shape you are, how fit you are, this is for you. Yep, it truly is. And I guess the last thing I want to mention before we wrap this whole thing up is that one of the major things that I love about doing Team Never Settle is that unlike a lot of videos in the past before I really came into the knowledge of knowing what it takes to be a trainer and what overall having real overall health means, I used to try out all the videos. You know, I'm, I'm looking at the P90 stuff, the insanity stuff, and just the general basic bodybuilding videos you can see. And the one issue I had that I know a lot of people had that came to my mind when we were forced to have to jump into this during the pandemic is that we're still able to provide coaching. Mm -hmm. So when you're at home and you're doing this live boot camp with us, you can jump right into the comment section and let us know, hey, I'm struggling, I'm feeling this here or whatever. And you can still interact with us and we can jump there and demonstrate and get you um, the best response so that you guys can make the correct adjustments at home so that you're not continuing to put your body in a riskful position because there's no one there to correct you when you're not doing something correctly. So you can watch a lot of those DVD videos that we used to have in the past and there was nobody there to help you along the way. You saw what they were doing, but you didn't know if you were quite doing it right. You didn't know if it felt right. Well, we're going to let you know if it feels right because we're going to tell you how it feels. And you're going to know if it looks right because we're going to show you what it looks like and how to make it look the way that we want you to. So we're giving you everything with this group. And trust me, guys, there's nothing better. And also, it's a learning experience because we know that we can't stay together forever. No client lasts forever. We wish we can work with you forever. But if we were being true to what we got into the industry. We don't really want to. 
We don't want to work with We you love you guys, forever. but we don't want to work with you we forever. We want to have as much impact and influence on as many people as possible, but we want to teach you as much as we can so that when we do separate, you got all the tools um, necessary to continue to keep your health at a stronger and um, mm -hmm. more high quality level. So, and then you can help the loved ones around you yeah. um, do the same. Our as main well. goal is to educate you where you get to the point where you are confident doing these things on your own, but not only doing them on your own, but teaching your children how to do them correctly. So um, I think that's a great point. Um, a lot of these virtual training options that are out there, they're all very similar, but one thing that they all lack that we don't is that personal connection. Like, yes, there are some of the top trainers in the world that are doing some virtual training right now. Awesome, awesome trainers, but you can't talk to them, you know? They're celebrity trainers. They're out of reach, out of touch, out of mind. And Nate and I are real. We're raw and we're right there with you. Every step of the way, you have access to us. And that's huge, guys. Trust us, that does make a big difference. Yeah, and I think that's a big thing. I mean, we've been doing this group now for what, how long did you say, like seven, seven months? months. This, this, like 2020. Right. Crazy. has been crazy so it's been hard to keep track of time when you're not doing things that you're used to doing so it just seems like you know time is lost now so it's been a while but there's been people doing it and i think that's what they admire most or one of the things that they admire most about the group is that we're not just providing the workout but we're doing it live right then and there on camera so you're watching us struggle and be challenged with the same circuit that yeah. you're doing so you know that it's effective and it's real stuff because if we, and I'm not saying this in like a braggadocious way, but we own a gym, we're trainers, you guys hire us to help you, so we know a little bit about this, right? You expect us to have a certain higher level of conditioning and discipline with this, right? So if you can see us struggle with the same thing that we're asking you to do, well, you know there gotta be something to it, right? And that's all I wanna say is that we're struggling live on video at that moment with you giving you as much education as we can as much motivation and inspiration as we can and also we're just trying to help you be the best you that you can be yep, guys we're not you know these live boot camps they're live which means you get to see the good the bad the ugly um a lot of these virtual There's been training some ugly i know <laughs> i was the ugly oh, yeah, that day. I was about to say <laughs> <laughs> Save that for another time. If you join the group, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but a lot of these virtual training options that are out there have um, pre-recorded videos, and I think those are great. We are also going to incorporate more pre-recorded videos, but we're going to keep that live aspect for that reason, guys, because when you do pre-recorded videos, you see the best of the best. So if Nate eats um, some fried food or something, you know, not saying he actually did that or anything, but if he were to eat some fried food and then like, you know, get sick on camera and lay there for about 20 minutes. You would be able to see Then that. you would be, yeah, you, you'll First see that on the live and you will be able to make fun of him with me like I did at one of our boot camps. But it's, if it's pre-recorded, that stuff gets cut out, right? So you don't see that, you just see the best of the best. But this is super raw, guys, you see us in our you know raw form giving you the best that we have Nate and I like to compete sometimes so um, I always win so you know spoiler alert there but yeah guys it's fun yeah. there's a fun aspect to it and the live aspect does that without um, you know hindering the workout itself you get all of that and you know, it's like the bloopers on shows, you know, like those are the best parts where you wait until the end and you get to watch those. That's what you get to see with the live videos. It doesn't get cut out. Yeah, it's a complete blooper reel itself. One hour blooper reel every Tuesday and Thursday, but you can also make some gains while you watch it. So good stuff. We're trying to, you know, just provide something different and trying to make the best of this COVID-19 2020 experience, right? So. All you can do is continue to move forward, and that's what we did with this group is we adapted and we made changes, and we're just trying to move forward, and we still want to help you in the best way that we can. All you got to do is allow us to. Yep, guys, so quick recap here. If you are struggling with your at-home workouts, if your at-home workouts suck, then these are three things that you can start doing right now to improve on them. You need to be consistent, which means 
working out more times than not, giving yourself at least three months of that consistency. You need to change, okay? That means changing your weights, your reps, your sets, your tempo, the equipment that you're using, okay? Switch things up sometimes. And you also need to challenge yourself by taking yourself to muscle failure and getting out of your own way, stepping outside of your comfort zone. And Team Never Settle can and will help you guys. We combat the three C's with the three S's, and those are a support group with an effective system that has been proven to work. We also switch it up, guys. We keep things interesting. We do the thinking for you. We keep your body guessing, and we guarantee a sweat session, which means you are going to be challenged, and all fitness levels are welcome. So, guys, there you have it. If you are interested in Team Never Settle, message us today. Let's get you started on boot camp tonight, and we'll get you guys going and that much closer to reaching your goals. All right. And yeah, once you sign up in a group, guys, you'll get that live video tonight, but you get the last seven months of live videos as well. And everything you access else. to everything. So we want you to utilize those workouts so you just don't get the workout with us live then, but you can go back and repeat and incorporate those workouts as many times as you see fit. So it's a lot of content and a lot of good information in there for you. And hey, we're going to keep giving it. So come jump in, come join us, and come have a good time. Come on, come make some gains. Yep. Come make some gains. All right, guys, that's it for this Tuesday. We can go on and on about how much we would, look, would love to help you if you allow us to. This is our passion. This is our purpose. This is what we feel we was put here for. So, like I said, we can talk on and on about how much we would love to serve you. But, again, Trainer Talk Tuesdays, that's it. We'll see you back here next week, same time, same place. And until then, never give up. Never lose hope. And never, never settle. settle. See you guys here next week. Have a great rest of your week, guys. And we hope to work with you here soon.